Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. We're going to see what's going on for you in love and romance and then career and finance. Thank you for being here. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you in love in the past. What was the past energy? Whoa, the Knight of Wands. You know, maybe somebody came in just really quickly and they left just as quick. They came in to get something. The Knight of Wands is also, is about, you know, taking a creative opportunity to go after something. They stick around as long as, um, until they get what they want and then they're out. This is not a person who is for the long term, you know. This is somebody who says the sweet nothings. They just didn't really, um, they don't have a staying power and that's not what they're about. They're always looking for the next creative opportunity, the next opportunity that presents itself. They're adventurous, they're spontaneous, they're well-dressed, they, you know, they look good. Um, they're attractive, they're charismatic, they're outgoing. They could even have a nice body, you know. Um, this could be you, Aries, um, or this is someone you were dealing with. But, uh, you know, they didn't stick around here. Let's see where you, what's going on for love right now in the present. <clears throat> what's going on for Aries in the present for love? All right, Aries, your cards don't want to shuffle. I mean, they don't want to drop. All right, the Nine of Pentacles. So you're at a place of maybe just being single. Maybe you've closed down, you know, in terms of having a really intimate, close, vulnerable relationship. You just don't trust it. You're just maintaining you, doing you. Maybe you have a business or you do independent work. You're focusing on you. The Nine of Pentacles talks about the woman who lives alone, who keeps maybe relationships out of, outside of her home or her heart space, you know? Um, so you're just not really wanting to have anyone close to you. You don't want to be intimate or vulnerable um, because you don't trust it. Um, it says that you, on paper, you know, you, you look good, Nine of Pentacles. You're the perfect person, but... Um, this might be you not ready for a relationship, kind of closed here. What was the past for career and finance? The past career and finance. Justice, very nice. So maybe you paid off some debt. Um, you got a yes answer, you got an approval. Things got back in balance in terms of your finances. Someone could, could have even repaid you. Definitely paid off debts. Or just got things back in balance. Got your finances back in balance here. What is uh, Aries energy presently for career and finance? The Page of Cups. So yeah, some good news about business matters. A lot of wishful thinking, a lot of dreams, a lot of aspirations, but maybe not a lot of action. So the card is saying, yes, you have a lot of dreams, but you need to put something into action here. Um, you may be thinking negatively about moving forward, eight of swords at the bottom of the deck, or just not knowing how to move forward. Having given up agency here, maybe you feel like there's another party or something else or somebody else who maybe governs the whole thing, gives you the yes or no answer, or they're, they're in control or you've given up control. You don't have control. The page of cups here, it says that um, you get some good news though, uh, surprise news. Let's see, what's the outcome for career and finance for Aries? The hermit. All right, so you're going to be in a place of um, maybe thinking about, about what to do next, maybe some research, maybe changing your personal philosophy about money and wealth and how you can grow with the hermit card, how you can get to a place of um, completion, culmination. 
you know, you feel like something is an uphill battle. You're listening to that inner voice. What is the outcome for love for Aries? The world. All right, so yeah, you, um, you could be closing out a cycle here. Something that was heartbreaking or, you know, maybe somebody put you in a third party situation here. You may have even isolated. Yeah, isolated yourself lately. This person could want to come back for a second try at this. Yeah, but they may be still up to the same same issues or same stuff. They're not really changed. As soon as you withdraw completely, then they come running. And when you're engaged, they, they don't want to engage. It's very cat and mouse. This is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.